Hey guys, Shane Starnes with the Droid Modder X, and as many of you guys have probably heard recently, the Note 4 is under the scrutiny of the Gap Gate. So we all know the iPhone 6 Plus bend gate, so the iPhone 6 is easily bending, has an aluminum body, aluminum frame, and it is very thin and very light, and it does, in fact, bend. So uh, that makes it almost unusable for any active person. People were complaining of pulling it out of their pocket just to find it bent from just normal wear and tear. And then now, now Apple fanboys or just Samsung observers are finding that the Galaxy Note 4 actually has a gap between the outer rim and the glass. So the only thing that I'm wondering here is how was it missed on the Galaxy S5? The Galaxy S5 actually has the same gap and we're going to demonstrate that for you here in just a minute, but I also want to point out that the big gap gate concern is that it makes the phone prone to water damage, so they're thinking the Note 4 should be prone to water damage or dust damage because somehow that gap is going to decrease the wearability. This very Galaxy S5 has been through a water test. I'll be sure to include a link to that video in the description below. Uh, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate this gap for you. I have just a regular piece of paper, and paper's pretty thin. But we'll go ahead and put it in the gap here so you guys can see that there is a gap on the Galaxy S5. And as you can see there, uh, it stands up just like on the Note 4. And then we'll take a little bit thicker of a piece of paper. This is uh, just regular note card stock. So not as quite, not quite as thick as a business card, but much thicker than a normal piece of paper. So we'll take the card stock here and we'll go ahead and put that in the gap as well. And I mean, it grips onto that really easily. Uh, so you see the Galaxy S5 also has the same gap that the Note 4 has. Samsung has said that this is a feature. It allows the device to shift and settle so that it doesn't bend in your pocket. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons why that gap exists. Uh, it's really meant to allow the phone to shift and settle. So with all that being said, uh, this should not be an issue on the Galaxy Note 4. If you've been carrying around the Galaxy S5 for as long as I have, this has been a non-issue for me. In fact, no one has even realized that the gap exists on the Galaxy S5. So if it hadn't have been pointed out to them on the Note 4, they probably would not have noticed it on the Note 4 either. Uh, so anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you that really quickly. Uh, the Galaxy S5 has the same gap that the Galaxy Note 4 has, and we haven't seen any extra wear on this device because of it. It still maintains its waterproofness, even with a gap. Uh, so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click the like button. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.